Briefly today, we're going to talk about a topic that I have uh, had to work with for a good many years now, and I've come up uh, with um, uh, a way that I think works pretty good to prepare things, and it's called uh, Metamucil. <laughs> and I take this uh, uh, three times a day, and have for several years, because of uh, an internal situation that I have, which we won't get into. But this is, this is what I use, it works well, and... Um, I know when I first started out using this product, and I've known other people that have had a, had the similar situation that you put the, the amount you want in a in a glass and stir it up, and you stir it up, and then you stir some more, and then when you get through that, you have to stir it a little more, and you may get most of it dissolved. Well, I've come up with a with a way to uh, uh, do that quite a bit better, so I'd like to share that with you, and we'll get started with that in just a moment. When I first started taking Metamucil, I just mixed it in with water with this technique I have, and it worked pretty good. And then I tried experimenting with, uh, with different uh, liquids, different things, different juices. I tried apple juice, grape juice, um, I even tried uh, V8 juice for a while, and different flavors of Gatorade. And finally, the um, mixture that I came up with that is uh, that I like the best involves two two uh, two uh, versions of uh, Gatorade, two uh, tastes. Like this uh, cool blue is one, and the other one I like is this uh, extreme mango. Now I'm not promoting Gatorade in any way. These are just something that I take, use, and I mix them together actually, and I get a better flavor out of it for me. That's what works for me. And see, this is what it looks like. And so I'll show you how that works in just a second. Okay, this is my setup for taking uh, Metamucil, and I also take pills with it too, because I have to take several pills a day. But uh, first of all, I have this uh, small plastic container here, and as you can see, I've uh, marked off a couple of places here just to help me kind of keep up with uh, with where I am with my volume. I also put a mark up here at the top because occasionally I will use this for something else and this is a cup. This is one cup volume so that's why that is, is, it, is there. So that's one part of it. My Metamucil itself because of medical stuff in the past I've wound up with several of these little pill bottles like this and these work out very well for keeping up with uh, the Metamucil I take and how I've taken it during the day because I've got three of them you know where I get it in the deal here I've got three of them for the three times a day that I take the Metamucil and so I'll use one then I turn it upside down that says you're used so let me show you how I use how I do use this Set this off out of the way here for a second okay take this bottle, I take my mixture, and I pour into it until I'm up, uh, up at this level. That's just a rough estimate, it's not an exact, this is not rocket science, so somewhere in that neighborhood is, um, is the volume that I use. So then, I take one of my Metamucil containers here. Open it up, tap it, make sure it's in there. Now, if you're used to mixing this up and just stirring and stirring and stirring, you've seen this before where you've got uh, the Metamucil just all gathered up in there. However, I have learned that if you put it in a container like this and then shake it a few times, it is completely, absolutely mixed in the fluid and then all you have to do is pour it down. Okay, here's my method for filling little pill bottles. First of all, I have found a, a large container, or a container like this, with um, a very secure lid. And so I pour this, I fill this up out of the big bottle, big can, so it's easier to work with. And that's, this will work for quite a few, quite a few reloads. So then you take um, take your pill bottles, 
open them up. And of course, like I said, it's easy to make a mess. So I've got a little funnel that I use. One other little trick too. I use a, I've got a one teaspoon teaspoon here that I use to uh, transfer the little little yellow powder with. And I have learned that I better hold the lip of that container over the funnel when I pull this out. Now, there's no telling what kind of, kind of a dropping mess I'm going to make. So then it's just one heaping teaspoon at a time, which is what I use, just like that. Put my put my teaspoon back in the container. Always try to get these lids. Always try to get these lids put back together as soon as possible, because a mess can happen at any moment and quickly. So that's the way I set up to take my Metamucil. So every day I fill up three of those and I know that when I, when I take one then I turn it upside down in my little storage cup here. This is the way they start out. And when I use one I just turn it upside down. That helps me keep up with, with where I am for the day. Now when you get this mixture put together and all shaken up correctly, you want to you want to take it pretty quick because you leave it for just a little bit and it will turn to that gel on you. But if you shake it up right quick and then go ahead and take it. It's all there. It's all it was all mixed up, totally mixed up. You got it all in one fell swoop. So that's uh, that's how I take my Metamucil. And it just takes shaking it up in that small bottle. And this is a bottle that, uh, oh, apple juice, grape juice, whoever knows what kind of juice is in them from uh, the grocery store. And uh, I always want to take the lid off. I want to cut that little rim that's left there out. <clears throat> because I have found that if you leave it on, oh, some funny looking black stuff can grow under it. So you want to cut that off when you go, if you go to use one of these. In just a second, this will not wash in the washing machine, in your dishwasher. Um, it just can't get the, the water and soap up inside the thing adequately. And so here in just a second, I will show you how I clean this also. Okay, like I said, you, uh, or I can at least, uh, use a regular dishwasher to get my, to get my uh, little bottle here clean. So this is the way I do it. I put, uh, just take old liquid, liquid dish soap, and I'll put, oh, just not very much, two or three drops in there. Get that out of the way. And then, add some water, just a little bit, and put the lid back on, and then you shake it, just like you did to mix up the Metamucil, you're shaking up the soap to clean it out with here. And I'll, uh, do that twice, or three times, whatever my lube is. Dump it out while this water is getting warm. And then I'll just make sure I rinse out the cap. And then we'll fill up the bottle, let it float the soap up out of there. We'll empty that out and do that a couple of times. And you can see, uh, you can see the, the soap bubbles come up. You can tell when it's uh, starting to get clean. It's uh, pretty evident. I may do this two or three times. Just depending on what it looks like. And that's getting pretty close. And then down at the end, put it up just parts away, shake it good a couple of times. Now that's got all that stuff uh, out of there and ready to use again. Every once in a while, uh, if I let it set too long, that uh, Metamucil and stuff will build up on the side here. And I have a brush that I get down in and wipe it with that I do every once in a while. So that's the, that's the way I clean my bottle for taking Metamucil. Well, there you have how I use Metamucil. This, uh, this wonderful little powdery stuff. It has its place. It does its job. Works for me. 
And the same technique of using the bottle and then uh, washing it out and uh, the way I go about it, it would work with any kind of powder, uh, whatever you have to take, any other kind of powdered medicine or something that you just have a hard time getting dissolved. Put it in one of those little bottles and shake it up good and, uh, and that'll work for you. Well, that's one more edition of Bennett's Briefs. I tried to be here briefly. We are here briefly. Now we're gone.